Hey guys, Mel the Strange Shooter here and we are at the biggest day of gaming in the UK. Yes, we are at Salute. There are thousands waiting to get in. It starts at 10, it finishes at five. We've got seven hours to get the terrain, the tables and all the all glorious traders of Salute. This is my mad day, this is the mad mission and we are on one. I'm wearing my high vis so I don't get disturbed while I'm filming the tables like last year. Planning and preparation prevents people, performance guys, and Mel is on the game. So, it's the final countdown before this lot storm in and we hit those tables. Let's do it. Okay guys, we've got another beautiful table here. Look at this. Oh, a bit of a jungle table. I see plastic plants. I see toddy trees. It's looking beautiful. Now, there's a fort over there. Let's go and have a nose at that. So check this out guys, yeah. lovely bit of resin work there, yeah I see that a palisade fort, Spaniards ain't going to survive and vulcanized trees, we love that stuff, absolutely beautiful table guys, absolutely beautiful, nice work. Hey guys, I see. Oh, what's this? You call that terrain, Mr. C? Oh, this is his. Oh, that's, oh, what a shame. Look at that. Oh, cruel seas. Now, I have been doing my own little coastal work. I see a hill that's been nicked from Lloydie's Beasts of War tutorial. Yeah, nice one. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you, brother Lloydie. Yeah, so, cruel seas. Probably the most least terrain game Warlord do. So, it's a good starter game for you, but they've got my D Day table at the, st at the store. Oh, look at that, look at that. Go on, show us, Rich. Got our own uh, little broken lighthouse. Has it been taken out by the Germans? Yeah, and we got the other version beforehand. Lovely, I think that's brilliant. Right, I'm going to say it is a beautiful table, even though it's lacking in terrain. <laughs> deep, deep cut. Deep cut, deep cut table. Right, let's move on, guys. Catch you later, guys. Hey guys, we've got another table here. I see terrain and those sandbars look familiar. Very, very familiar. What beautiful work. Look at those. Is this a new Warlord game? It's, um, it's uh, the rules are in progress. Ah, right, so. Right, nice one. All right, we'll keep our eye out for that. A lovely little lighthouse over there, and people are enjoying the con. Right, let's get cracked on. Okay, the guys at Salute always put on a big display at the start of the show, and this is no different. To the strongest. Look at this for a layout. That goes on and on. It's like an Ericsson. Coming round. Beautiful models. And very rarely do I get interested in models. Yeah, but that is a thing of beauty. Yeah. Now, only a little bit of terrain on the table to focus it. Well, let's have a look. Lovely collection of trees. I imagine that's come from a few different gamers. Yeah, we've got some Saxon huts by the looks of it. A bit of the old. Oh, that is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, let's crack on. Okay, guys, another bit of dungeon stuff. I've seen this on one of the stands. I think this is custom resin. DNG Games, I think. DNB. DNB Games, is it? Oh, see, someone's corrected me. Lovely stuff. And they all play, play in rows for him. I've got to love pickle games like this at Salute. Right, let's get cracked on. Okay. 
Okay, here we've got another table. It's a Shiro modeling. That's my mate James. He knocks out absolutely lovely stuff. The talented git. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's nice. Very nice. He's such a talented man. Does mainly Japanese stuff, but he can turn his hand to anything. Beautiful table, James, beautiful. But I didn't say that. Right, come on. Oh, we've got some small scale stuff at Salute here. We've got Northwest Frontier, 10 mil game. Now there's some lovely functional scatter pieces. They're quite nice. Yeah, moving off. Here we've got, it looks like they're herding the pack at, are those, what are, they're camels? Oh, I love it. The baggage train here. Ah, baggage train. Casualties who are wounded, traps to the baggage train. Right, that'll do. Some lovely buildings. Absolutely lovely, simple setup, but so effective with those large scale pieces. I like that. I like that a lot. Bernie can talk you out and made these groups. Right, right, let's move on. Oh, here we've got the RAF guys. They always pull a good game. What are we doing? We 38 minutes to save the world. It's Stargate. Or oh, a generic rip off of it. <laughs> Legal terms. Let me get in there. Oh, they've got the little, little buggy things that they always like leave behind on the planet because they cost like 13 billion each. Yes, mate. Oh, Jafar. Oh, I'm coming back for a game of this. Four and five. The RAF guys always put on a game. Yeah, it's always epic. Last year, I think it was Minions, wasn't it? Lego tanks. Lego tanks. Oh, Lego tanks last year. Minion racing the before. Three years ago. I've been coming to salute too long. Right, guys, this is the RAF Association. They're always here and they always bring a good game. And that is brilliant. Right, let's move on. Okay, guys, we've got a lovely table here. Looks like they're playing Rebels and Patriots from Osprey Games. Let's get in there. That's some bit, I think they're three by three modular tiles. How is that? Lovely coloring on the flocking. Yeah, a little fight, star fort there. Gabions, that's nice. Yeah, some buttresses over there. Uh, some lovely trees as well. Lovely trees. Yeah. Look at these, they're bringing in the watch call it. They're bringing in like pontoons. And absolutely beautiful board. Yeah, nice one, guys. Right, let's keep going. Okay, guys, we've got a little pickle game here. We've got 1830, the Belgian Revolution. Lovely little table, nice little pickup. MDF buildings, lots of scatter. And I'll tell you what, I keep seeing these trees. They're looking good. Excellent table, let's go.
Okay guys, another table here. This is Mission Command. Little hex set up. Yeah, nice little modular pieces. And look at the bocage. Very nice. Beautiful little table. Love the small scale stuff. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's keep going. Oh, here are the boys from Arkwill. They always bring fancy tables. I love the colorings on their stuff. They had a little demo table last year that was beautiful. But, simple couple of pieces, really evocative. See, you don't need much terrain to turn out a beautiful table. Right, come on, let's keep going. I recognize this board. This is my mate Dave Marshall's board. He's a talented git as well. Yeah, post apocalypse, crooked dice. Man, they do some really nice stuff. Oh, look at the buggies. Look at those. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, Dave. Absolutely brilliant. Cracking as always. Yeah. Right, let's move on. Okay guys, another table here. I've been told this is Mag 4 7. Look at some of these characters. But above all, yeah, that's a lovely building there. But check out the rocket ship. That's brilliant. I love that. Yeah. Precinct's Cantina. Ah, oh, lovely table. Absolutely lovely table. Everything yeah. made on this table has been bought from either charity shops or car boot sales. So it's an all scratch built table. Yeah. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Oh, not a piece of MDF in sight. And check out, I think they're reusing real cactuses. <laughs> That's brilliant. Come on. Oh, another little pickup game here. Not much on the table, but they're playing Mammoth Hunt. And check those out. Aren't they brilliant? Lovely. So many pickup games here at Salute. Right, let's keep going. Another table here. We've got Maurice. It says, will the Willemite Wars in Ireland? Okay, but look at this. Modular pieces, scatter set up. Good mix. I do like those trees. They've been flopped. They're using small scale trees as bushes, which is very clever. Coming over here, we have a little cheeky modular river there leading up to a bridge. And I'm going to slide around here. Let's get. I don't normally do the miniatures, but they're nice. I'm doing the back of them though. And round over here to capture this lovely little village. Yeah. So many different things to see at Salute. Right, let's keep going. And we've got another game here. We've got Alexander the Great. I don't see much terrain, but there are tons of miniatures on here. Tons. Well, let's get quickly. Oh, 
they're nice. Moving along. Oh, I've seen something over there. Let's nip around there. That's clever. Paper grasses. We like that. And a cheeky little fort at the back. Very nice. Right, let's keep going. Oh, we got a little bit of Asia here by the looks of it. Looking down at a second Japanese war. Bit hard, am it? Second same old Japanese. That's it. See these men now. Some lovely watch it. Lovely trees there. Wire wool, bamboo emplacement. We've got the paddy fields over there. Yeah, and then if I just skip round here, check these out. Yeah. There you are. The Japs have got a little fire pit over there. And they've got a heavy machine gun in the tower. Are they going to make it across the paddy fields? Or are they going to get smegged? We'll find out at the end of the show. Okay guys, bit of a special one here. This is the Salute Boys table. Give me a wave, guys. Now every year they put on a massive game. This time it's Alexander the Great against the Roman Empire. 200 years apart, two of the biggest armies and greatest sort of power and nations in the ancient world, battling out to see what would have happened if they actually met. We don't know, we won't find out till the end of the show. But there's some lovely little pieces on here. Check it out. Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's keep going. Oh, check this one out. This is a blast from my past. Dark side of the moon. Oh, check that out. Check these ch cheeky craters out. That's clever. Hot carved, then blasted with a heat gun to get the dip in. I know how you've done that. Yeah, moving across here. We have a moon base. Check that out. That's actually really lovely. I really like that. And then, it just keeps watch good it blasts from my past. I'm gonna leave it lean over here just to get you these. Any Brit who's about my age will know exactly what they are. Absolutely brilliant. I love stuff like this when they do this at Salute. Absolutely love it. Come on, I better show you some more tables. Okay, another table here by Fire and Sword. 10 mil, 15 millimeters. You know me and scales. Lovely little encampment there. Some beautiful models. And if we just come round. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. I see corrugated cardboard, I think. And those are resin builds, haystacks. And of course, our welcome mat cornfields. Beautiful. Right, let's move on.
Okay, a couple of my mates will probably recognize this. Hellman 2009, Sangin Skirmish. <laughs> Lovely little Afghan table. I've got mates will be having flashbacks. <laughs> Look at that. You get that what you got in over in Afghan, a big roast of what you got, sort of foliage right where, where all, the, all the water streams are. And then right next to it is like bare desert. We've got some lovely little hedges or vineyards there. Yeah, mixed herbs to prop them up. Some nice buildings with a bit looks like a, a resin or Artex stipple. And then if we come up here, yeah, we've got a market. I don't see a jingle van yet. It can't be an Afghan market without a jingle van. But absolutely beautiful table. Sangin skirmish. Hellman 2009. Wonderful. Really wonderful. Oh, let me just get those. Hey, you having flashbacks, boys? <laughs> right, let's crack on. Okay, we've got a bit of 10 mil here for you small scalers. Uh, Pendragon Miniatures, I think, Blitzkrieg 4. Is that new today? I thought I hadn't heard of that. So brilliant, look at those. Yeah, lovely little bit of use of watch cut carpet tiles for fields. Got some vineyards there. Yeah, little tank battle over there. Lots of little bits, simple to do. Very effective game. And it's Blitzkrieg Commander 4 out today. Go check it out, guys. Right, let's move. Okay, guys, we've got Anvil Industries here and they are playing Afterlife. Uh, they've got some of their NVF stuff. They had some awesome setups last year. Looks like they've come with a little lighter setup so they can get some gameplay rather than just display. But they've customized up a Nerf gun. I've got that Nerf gun in my studio. I am so on that when we get back to it. Right, absolutely beautiful. Right, shall we crack on? Oh, check that. It's got flashing lights and everything. APC, love that. Ah, he's gone to town on that. Anyway, let's have a look at the rest of this terrain. And here we have, oh, you recognise this. This is the Games Workshop's Necromunda. I'll tell you what, the Games Workshop terrain lately has really been blowing it. I mean, really blowing it. They've knocked out the sky with their latest stuff. Yeah, so evocative, so integrated. Everything works together and the layers. Yeah, this is the Necromunda I imagined in my childhood. Oh, that's beautiful. Really beautiful. Right, better leave it. Come on, let's move. Okay, another table here. This is from the Society of Ancients. It looks like a rug that they flopped and sprayed. Works so well. Train's a little bit light, but obviously with these mass rank and file games, it's always the way. Nice little stepped hill over there. And that looks like it's made out of carpet as well. The offcuts. Some wife screaming at her husband because she's got gaps in her kitchen floor. Pal palisades there and some more trees. Very simple. Very effective. Right, come on, let's show you more.
what we've got a bit of flames of war fate of a nation six day war look at this someone's gone to town on this haven't they they've even named it this is actually a place look yeah they've actually got the roads so this has been named after an actual place so we've got the market there yeah various traders and then if we come up it looks like we've got the mosque right at the top beautiful work this is gaming this is why i come to salute for tables like these to play on tables like these absolutely beautiful i see herod's gate that's brilliant right let's get cracked Okay, guys, we've got Back to the Future. Is this actually, oh, you've stepped it up in different time zones. So this is the Wild West where they're building it. Yeah, this is where Marty's mum was like coming on to him. Oh, they've got the flashing lights and everything. Oh, is he gonna hit 88? Is that the game? Find out if you can make 88. And then we've got the future one. And look. They've got hoverboards. We're supposed to have those by now, aren't we? I feel conned we never got them. Oh, look at those lights. Literally setting it to fire. I love tables like these. Absolutely love them. Right, come on, we better show you more. Oh guys, check this out, uh, it's Moonstone, I think. Look at that. I see a bit of green stuff rollers by the looks of it. Oh, no. Or maybe, what is that? Ah, uh, yeah, they've got, they've got him and actually made those themselves, Jesus wept. Okay, some lovely resin buildings. And then if I pan over to this one, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna come in here and just disturb these guys. Yeah, some lovely ice work. More resin buildings, but look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Absolute beauty. Right, let's keep going. We've got a bit of it looks like modern apocalypse. Look at this. Very nice. MDF buildings tarted up to the max. I see okay. graffiti, posters, loads of scatter, and some bin bags. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's move on. I see my mate Andy's Mortal Gods. Beautiful table. Now, this is Luke. Luke APS does beautiful work. Look at that ocean. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the colours on that. Will and Scenic's Rocks. Turned out beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nice one, Luke. Nice one, Andy. Right, let's move on. Here we've got this is not a test loads of little shanty buildings of mdf kits tarted up someone's been a very very busy boy and i do like these rocks fires yeah and i can tell you that man there hello buddy how are you doing I'm good, man. How are you? yeah lovely work as always and and from fat cat games the, the the quickest fastest demoist team in the west isn't it <laughs> so how many t-shirts have you got now Quite a few. <laughs> I bet you have. Right, beautiful table as always, matey. Come on, let's move on. Oh, 
Oh, and look at this. This is a blast from the past. This is Pringle Towers. Yeah, Pringle Tubs, kitted up. Yeah, I know it's Pringle. I recognize the tub. Beautiful work. Absolutely beautiful. Right, come on, let's move on. Oh, check this table out. Mercy Miniatures. Now, I see this every year, because that is a feature. That was my thumbnail last year for the Salute video. And every year they expand it. So in this year, they've added a dock system. How brilliant is that? Let me just come round. Let me just show you these. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Right, let's move on. Another little lovely table here. Oh, I'm not sure who makes those buildings. Bit of lovely table work there. Teddy bear work. Yeah, we've got the, the old chocolate bar rock hit walls and some lovely buildings. Beautiful table, absolutely beautiful. Let's move on. Okay, another table here. I've been told it's Space Vixens from Mars. Lovely, lovely table. Check that water out. That's clever, isn't it? Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Right, let's move on. Now, it's absolute that you see the awesome things. Now, this is from the Jersey guys. They run a gaming club. Yeah, and this is Flash Gordon in Lego. I mean, I know I'm a terrain builder, but this is the sort of terrain I started with. Absolutely beautiful. Look at it. I mean, they, I mean, it's so big. They have gone to town with this. So, coming around here, we'll see if we can get in there. It's a busy stand, very popular, struggling to get fit film, guys, but... Check that out. Well done, Jersey Gamers. Very nice indeed. I've spotted something I recognize. It's the foreground scenics. Look at that. The new modular kits. Yeah, sci fi gothic. Very nice. Very nice indeed, guys. As always, foreground knocking it out of the park with their terrain. Now, another simple game, not much terrain. But this is foreground six mile game, I think. Look at that. Table layout, really nice. All they've done is green sheet, drop some gravel down, drop some loose flock. In fact, I don't even think it, that's a GW hill, isn't it? Reflocked, beautiful. And this is some of their new small buildings. Amazing. Absolutely love this stuff. Absolutely love it.
Now we've got a massive game here. I think this is the Warlord guys again. Hex table. The medieval, that one they call medieval. Yeah, loads of little individual pieces. I like how the rivers and the buildings are on like combined hex tiles to make them modular. Even the hills are hexes, that works well. All together, an absolutely beautiful table. Right, let's keep going. We've got a bit of gaslands going on here. I see a, what you call it? I see a dock, crane, containers, and people having fun. Look at that. They're getting ready to start the race. May the odds ever be in your favor, gentlemen. Another beautiful little table here. Budgers, Burrows and Badgers. I've got Kez one of their badges, that one right there. Yeah, let me go in. She loves that model. I'm gonna be really cheeky, I'm just gonna show you. How cool is that? Yeah, I'd still need to get Kez painted up though, but some of the new terrain pieces look really nice. Check it out guys, Burrows and Badgers. Okay, we've got another table here. Looks like a modular setup with MDF buildings. How nice is that? Industrial facility. Yeah, Batman the miniatures game. Oh, the Joker's gonna be in there somewhere, isn't he? Is he over there, is he? Come on, let's go and have a look. There's the Batmobile. Oh, blast from my childhood and... There they are. Beautiful and a beautiful table. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on, let's crack on. Okay, another game here. We've got seven days to the River Rhine, Great Escape Games. Lovely table. Really detailed, they've actually done a modular, not, it's not modular, it's a feature table, it's built. Yeah. But look at the fields and grass work. That's really nice. I do like those vineyards there. And are they T-34s coming over the hill? Ah, you're in trouble, guys. The bears are coming. Another beautiful table at Salute. Let's move on. Okay, here we've got friends of General Hagen. Look at this. Teddy bear fur done to the max. Yeah, they looks like they put a bit of acrylic cork in a bit of grit down. Yeah, that's what that is. Beautiful layout. Yeah, there's a burning village up there. Let's go and have a look at those windmills. Very nice. I mean, there's some beautiful models, but you know I'm not here for the models. Yeah, oh, look at those trees. Very nice. And it actually feels warmer over here. <laughs> that works. Gavian's there. And a beautiful table. That teddy bear fur works really well. And those roads, perfect. Right, let's keep going. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a bit of a pickup game, bit of a custom one, Last Living Soul. And it looks like two by two modular pieces that they've built. Yeah, and they just stack together. Check this out. Sliding doors. I like that, I like that a lot. Another beautiful board. I keep saying that, but Salute is just full of beautiful boards. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, here we've got uh, Dogfight 69. Another little table. Yeah, they've got little tripods for the planes here. How cool is that? Yeah, over here, lots of loose foam foliage and some wonderful resin buildings, stacked and layered, blending in a, a terrain piece. Works so well. Yeah, the overall effect, brilliant. I mean, it even looks like they've got the fields down because what they've done is they've templated it and given it a quick spray with paint. So that really works, really works. In fact, they've done that with the road as well. The road's painted on. That's nice. That's very nice. So, overall, look at that for an effect. I might nick that. <laughs> right, come on, let's crack on. It can't be salute without a massive 40K game, and this one just goes on and on. Right, over here we have, I see a trench and canal system with rusted, loads of GW terrain on it. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the rusting on those pipes, very nice. Yeah, we've got, looks like a custom bunker built over there. Hey, bit of mixed terrain and GW stuff, and then a compound over here giving us a massive 40k game that the kids have been loving all show. Right, let's keep going. And here we have another table. And this is by Dave Marshall from TM Terrain. He brings about six to salute. He likes winning the competition, so he stacks his odds. But let me show you. Yeah, lovely jungle work, Dave. Lovely jungle work. Yeah, coming over here, we've got a lovely little village and he does the best sort of hard coating, what you call it. He mixes his teddy bear fur with filler. Yeah, and it comes out hard and looking brilliant. Yeah, look at the colours on that. That's a beautiful watch for Asian sort of green. And there's a castle over there, so we're going to slide over there and see if we can get that. So, check this out. I mean, Dave's groundwork is brilliant, and I can guarantee that that is hard as hell. Yeah, he makes them so durable. Yeah, but if we come along here, a little encampment. That's nice. He's a talented bugger. Yeah. There's his, 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 you can tell his colours a mile away. Nice little fort there, but if we come over here, you start to see his rock work. The man's a genius at that stuff. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you what, so envious. Yeah, absolutely envious. Beautiful Dave, ta beautiful table Dave, beautiful table. I'm sure you'll win this year as well. Yeah. Right, let's move on. Oh, check this out, Thud and Blunder. Yeah, this is a hell of a piece. All custom built. Look at the gang trees on it. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's go in, check that out. The tables you see when the guys go, you know, 
over the top with this. They yeah. work so well. They really do. Beautiful guys, absolutely beautiful. Right guys, here we've got bloody Omaha. D-Day board, but look at that. Got the beaches coming up. Got the anti-landing defenses. Modular board. Some lovely hills over there. But they've got some Trent works over here that is really nice. Yeah, and if I lift it up, you can sort of see the sort of trenches running through the modular boards right to the back. A really nice table there. And it goes on and on and on. Love stuff like this. Eh? Okay, guys, here we've got the Battle of Ligny. It's on what looks like uh, looks like a tar cloth. Yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. Yeah, lots of random bits of fabrics, creating fields, but some lovely work gone into creating this town. Multiple roads through so the troops can move through. Looks like we've got planters at the back, and there's even a modular river that runs through it. How nice is that? Yeah, absolutely beautiful, guys. Right, come on, let me show you where else. Okay, here we've got a bit of blaze of glory going on, a bit of Wild West action. Yeah, there's some big buildings in here to be truthful. Yeah, some lovely trees. Two. Look at that stagecoach. How cool is that? Yeah, and there is a fight going on in the saloon. Yeah, the boardy lady is on the stage. It is looking good. Excellent. Cool. Okay. Brilliant table, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Okay guys, I have found the bane of my life. Bloody palm trees. But they have done beautifully. He's painted them up nice. Yeah, loads of lichen in there. Really works on that jungle and if I pan out. Everyone's gone quiet around the table. <laughs> I'm getting nervous now. But look at that. They want to get on with their game. They say, Mel, get lost. Yeah, but now no, I'm not getting lost. I want this jungle. Absolutely beautiful. We've got paddy fields over there, some buildings. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Gotta love boards like this. Right, come on, let's get cracked on. Okay, guys, here we've got Battle of the Bush. Okay, some lovely trees there. Yeah, but if I come round, modular setup, river in the middle. And if we go over here, because I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and move a chair out of the way like I do. Yeah, look at that. Lovely little setup, and I don't recognize where that castle is from, that tower, but it's nice. The rest look like resin cast, to be truthful. And to be perfectly honest, this looks like bloody Dave's work again. I bet it's Dave's work. I'll tell you what, he's stacking the cards for winning the best table. Always does. 
Right, come on, let's Here we've got a bit of the old cloister stuff. They always put out a massive table. And I think it's just to showcase how big the damn thing can go. Yeah, they've got their modular rivers there. This is all hex terrain. Yeah, and if I pan out, it sort of blends. Do you see what I mean? Calistra. I mean, even the hills are hex. Let me come in, let me show you. Yeah, so if you have to hex terrain, check out the guys from Calistra. Beautiful stuff. Right, come on, let's move on. Okay, another little table here. Well, a little table, a bit bigger. Hornchurch War Games Club. Yeah, some lovely resin ruin pieces there. Yeah, set up. Yeah, some individual scatter pieces. And they've done some work with the old, what you call it, rug mats to do something quite nice over there. I like the tracks through the, what you call it, through the uh, field, works well. Yeah, very nice. Right, let's keep going. I've just found this, look at this. It's weird as hell. There's like floating rock platforms and weird things, but there's like a warpy clock that runs off into a river. Never seen anything. Look at the monsters. I don't know what they're playing here. Yeah? Uh, a Time for a Game by Dark Sphere. That's mint. That's really cool. Right, they've got another one over here. Look at this. Oh, now that, that's beautiful. So yeah, Dark Sphere gaming, very nice. I do like that. I do like that a lot. Right, let's keep going. A bit more of the old burrows and badges here. Look at these, very nice. Resin buildings. Very polite, have fun. Scratch built buildings. Scratch built buildings, really? Yes, they mm. are foam board, uh, cardboard, and lots and lots of glue and coffee stirrings. Yeah. So if you look inside the inn, you'll see- Oh yeah. Back. It's all foam board built. That dude there, that's a Terraniac right there. Right, come on, let's crack on. So guys, it is half past four. Uh, I've checked my Fitbit type of thing and it says I've done 12 miles today walking these halls. I have got you all the best display games. I've got you the terrain traders. I've got you the tables. I've done my best guys. This is the best I can do a salute and I have run out of time. I'm meant to interview people. I haven't even had a chance, but I have got pretty much all the terrain. So, from Salute guys, this has been Salute, the biggest UK wargaming show of the year. I always walk away knackered. I've still got a week to go on my Kickstarter. So if you want, if you like this lovely sort of terrain stuff, you want more of it, link down below to my Kickstarter. And obviously guys, yeah, more show vids coming soon. In the meantime, yeah, like it, all that sort of stuff, comment, you know what I mean, I'm knackered. Yeah, here's to a fabulous Salute. See you next time guys, ta -da.